The Waco Torch is an intelligent flashlight which can be used for navigation and search and rescue. To do this, it uses a GPS, an HRS, and a modified Elcos Pico projector fitted with high intensity green lasers. This intelligent flashlight can be operated in the following modes wonder mode, diagnostic mode, and one can even set the source and destination, headlock stabilization mode, the extra path mode, and of course the flashlight mode. For example, here the torch was used inside the old boys hostel to know where the extended block and the knock block were. In Wanda mode, one can roam around the campus and the flashlight will show you new places as you pass by them. This is especially good if you are new to the campus and just want to explore a bit. You don't need a tool guide, the torch will show you information about the places. Right now it uses a GPS and compares the previously stored checkpoints. For example, here Triple IT has been stored as a map of about 25 checkpoints. Well, if you are going for trekking, you can preset your waypoints on the path and help your torchlight guide you. You can also mount it on a bike like I did here, which shows the distance and heading of my bike to the next pit stop, that is Gachibowli Stadium. Or if you are taking a path circling the mountains, or if you are racing up the bike's peak, you don't need a co-driver. The device will project the guidance data onto the road or onto the windshield in front of you. The driver of the car need not divert his foveal attention from the road and onto a physical GPS device. As a test, we took the path from the cafeteria to the robotics lab and then to the speech lab. The device projected us the waypoints. Coming to the flashlight mode. To make it a powerful flashlight, initially high power white LEDs were used. But the problem was, though the luminosity was good, there was not enough contrast ratio in the projected data. So, the projector was fitted with four precision aligned green lasers so that the visibility was good even during the day. Diagnostic mode can not only be used to get debugging information regarding the sensors but also to get heading information in indoor GPS denied environments. Well, the idea of video stabilization has been there for some time now. You can see it in iPhone 4S where the optical flow from the input device that is your camera is used to stabilize the video feed. One can also use the inertial sensors to stabilize the photo taken. But here the stabilization has been implemented on the output device that is the projector itself. The IMUs roll and pitch data are used to stabilize the 2 degree of freedom servo setup to stabilize the projector. We call it the headlock stable projection mode.
Well, another idea is to use the Dijkstra with active weights. The torchlight can be used to show different parts during different times of the day. This can be done by knowing the GPS time and actively changing the weights. Say in the morning, a longer path with more tree cover can be chosen so that the user gets more protection from the sun, whereas in the night, a shorter path with no or less tree cover can be given a smaller weight. Well, to envision a future if the directional data is projected onto the retina using internet enabled contact lenses or if they are used in head mounted displays, it would be great for search and rescue workers. The flashlight can be used as a guidance device for trekking, for search and rescue, and as a tour guide in a campus for showing you different places or to take you from one to another. A device for search and rescue where the projected metadata would help improve the search process making it more quick and efficient so that more lives can be saved. You would never get lost, you would always find your way back to home.